Hi everyone, before I show you this, uh, I want to tell you this is a big part of my life. This is why I get up every day, and this is my focus, and this is my art. So, let's walk in, I'm, we're going to walk into my studio, and behind this door is my life work, behind this door. So, let's go in. And I just want you to want you to take a look at this. This is this is what I do. This is what I spent my time doing. And I really appreciate y'all because this is what I want to show y'all because y'all been supporting me lately. It had been it been so so amazing. It been so it been a it been a wonderful week. I'm not even making videos and not having people subscribe. It's a good thing for my channel and it's a good encouragement for my artwork. Y'all have no idea what that means and I really appreciate it. Empty bottle probably was steady and you know you gotta keep a keep a positive mindset when you when you doing hard work. But this is my studio. Like most of the stuff I paint. I never shared this painting. I came home one day. I was so stressed out. That's why I love art. I was so stressed out. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to just paint something. And I painted this little painting right here. And I never signed it. See? It's not even dated. Oh, my God. I got I got issues. So, take a look at this work. And uh, this beautiful painting. These are not all my painting. I got some of my painting in storage. But these are the one that means most to me. Like, if you look at this painting over there, it's not the best looking painting, but it is my first painting in high school. This is my first painting I did in high school. It's terrible. I love colors. <laughs> since, middle, since high school, uh, I love colors. That was my first painting I did in ninth grade, and that came out. I think pretty good. And this one was the second one I did when I was in ninth grade. And I did a painting on a building. And above art, I really love art. And being art, my passion. I do art. I play soccer. And that's one of my soccer cleats right there. But I love music too. So let's see. Let's see. Let me see. Let's start over. I'm just joking. That's not the point of the video, but um, like I do love I love my instruments. Uh, why be love my instruments since we're over here now, part of my room, and those are my utensils, paint and stuff. A lot of paints and these are my work equipments I'm a professional photographer I film stuff I film stuff I take pictures weddings and stuff and I do this with my friend and he's an amazing artist and he encouraged me we work together really well and I'm not and you wondering why I'm not recording this on my camera because that requires a lot of focus and it's a really advanced camera and it's gonna take me way more set up to do the video I mean smartphone cameras I've gotten way better in a way I feel comfortable this video gonna be beautiful if I edit it in Premiere or something these are just painting art books and guys books are amazing artists spend a lot of hours creating these books to help other artists so take advantage of that that's just my music set when I'm working hard or editing videos I love to play live music and I had a keyboard and a setup, but, huh, I give up on the keyboard. So, that's my printer. It's not the best printer. It's an HP Office Jet, uh, whatever that number is. It don't mean that much. <laughs> and this is this is what I wanted to show you. A lot of artists, they get so caught up on what art equipment to use, and it's crazy. Like, I would see artists spend thousands of dollars on something that I don't even, because 
commercial says best tool to use. This uh, I just want to show you. This is a surface tool, and this is what I do all my art with. All my art, the video I record on YouTube, everything I created, I created on this tablet, and it's really inexpensive because it's a surface tool. But the pressure sensitive is way better than the new one because they don't work with Wacom no more. So just keep that in mind. Keep that in mind when you buy the surface. Like the pressure sensitive is way better. I know new technologies, everyone. Don't pay attention. Just look at this painting. This is like me getting more cultured because I'm African. And like I said, this room is... I just surround myself with this painting because I paint, paint it with a more culture perspective. And then a more wider perspective. Like most of my painting you see is like maybe superheroes and stuff. But these are like my heritage and me implementing that in my painting. So it means more. That's why I don't try to sell them just like that. All right, this is a piece I did, and I got the process video. I recorded it. It was a bits piece, and it was on Snapchat. Please add me on Snapchat at the artist. Uh, it's not artist Pascal. Let me reiterate that. It's uh, Pascal underscore chart. Pascal P A S C A L underscore C H A R T. I do a lot of artwork, and I tend not to upload it on. YouTube because the YouTube process takes more time and I can just do art regularly. If you love to see stuff like that, follow me on Snapchat and I usually upload most of my stuff on there. These are so, I love this. I swear I feel like I was in love when I painted this painting. Uh, over here, you see like it's a you, like I'll say I'm crazy about you because I love Paris. Paris is, Paris is, uh, it pitch crap as the love city is it's so beautiful i'm like one day i could go up there and i hope it's this beautiful and i'm hope it's colorful it's bright it's vibrant it's more <laughs> i don't know it's it's so loving like i don't know i've never been to paris but the idea i have in my head of where paris is even i'm using van gogh reference that's the blue and white stuff over here but yeah if you love this painting and you want to actually buy it and you're looking at one, looking at Artist Studio, hit me up. Let me make an offer. But be mindful because don't disrespect my artwork. If you know what I mean. Some people would say, look at something like this or something like that and say, you know why I give you $100 for that. I don't sell my passion. I sell... That, Cause that's my brand. That's this is me. This is this is my life now, and I'm giving you a part of my life, and you telling me it's it worth hundred dollars. Just think about that. That's why when musicians create music and they think about, oh my God, my music gonna get leaked and people gonna download it. You know, it's a lot of work that go into these things, and I'm just saying, I love these things. And this painting has never been on social media, so this is the first time. And I was in a bad place at that time when I painted this. Don't want to go into detail, but I really loved it. it. I love it, love it. You can see the lady. She like fading into this. Oh my God, I don't want to talk about it. Oh my God, I don't want to tell you something. It's tempting. It's tempting, but all right. Let's 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 look at my portfolio. This is my portfolio. It's not a portfolio no more. Let, just, let me reiterate that. It's, it's some of my painting because most of the stuff in here people are already pay for or people got a print of it so let's see you open first you get greeted with compassion I'm just trying to show you love in a whole nether mini looking at a gorilla and looking at a baby you usually thinks uh, okay why would a aggressive animal be comforting a baby and look at his face expression it's so it's amazing he's like I got you it's like a mom and it's a, it's a beautiful. I love my work. If you love this painting, and you want an ink, a uh, print of it, just let me know in the comment section. And because you've been so good to me, I actually will leave my Photoshop brushes in the description below, and y'all can download for free. Those brush took time, and it will really help you. Because someone commented, well, it was like, what brushes you use? And you can have that now for free. And when you look at this, this, this painting means so much to me. It was the day I lost my grandma. Don't want to go in much detail about that, but 
I just want you to think about that. It was. I feel like I'm the only one who actually used this style. I created this type of painting style, and I love it. Really, really do. Like, oh, someone already took the paints. This print out. This is the thing. When you buy my prints, you buy my prints. I make certain numbers of prints, and if you have that print, just know I'm not making another copy of it. So, these paint, this, this is original. It's oil painting, and I was just doing something for Halloween. Topic about Halloween. I was thinking about what I'm going to paint for Halloween. I was I wanted to paint something for y'all. So, if you can leave a, whatever y'all want me to paint for Halloween, the theme, I would really love to. Just let me know what you what you like to see for a Halloween painting. So, I think everyone have seen this. Oh, everyone haven't seen this, but everyone have seen this. I did this on... Uh, YouTube, this part of my painting series, what I talks about how I was dreaming about this reality and this kingdom that I stay in and I had to paint it and how I can use your imagination as art. That's mostly what I talk, I think I talk about talked about in that video. And I love this lady, she's so beautiful. Oh my god. This is like oblivion. She lost her she lost her consciousness. So right here is it rest in peace because she's no she's no longer alive. That's why her eyes is all dark. Her feelings, her emotions are dead. She's not conscious no more, but she don't know it. And you don't know it, but you think she's beautiful, but she's dead. If something is dead, no one wanna be around it. Who wanna be a dead person? People throw a dead person, but if you don't know that you would love to be around it, so oh my god, yes. Before Garden of the Galaxy was released, you can look at the date on year. Before the part two was really, I predicted how Groot and Rocket was gonna look, and how I think the image of them was gonna be portrayed in that movie. And I think I, I, I love it. I love it. I love it. Really, I do. <laughs> I do. Okay. So uh, someone paid me to do this, but I really love the print. Other people may do, so I printed it. I only saw one print. So, yeah. You're saying this this was for the summer? Like I said, what we're going to paint for Halloween, I don't know yet. But this was for summer, just to say summer was amazing. I hope everyone had a good day. Good summer. It was amazing. I hope. Am I, re am I repeating that? No, I'm going to stop. <laughs> but I know Hurricane Arma and Katrina, and I mean Atlanta, Georgia. And we had to deal with a hurricane, and it was terrible for some people. And especially in Houston, it was terrible. And I pray, thank God, it wasn't the worst thing that could happen. Especially what just happened lately with that whole man killing, old man killing a whole bunch of people. Not going to talk about that, but look at this Batman something. Batman and Joker. I wanted to uh, capture DC and Marvel Joker, but in one character. And how would they both be crazy? Because they both are crazy. Like I said, most of the painting, I don't hang it up. This painting means more to me because it's part of my life than these. These are more like fictional in my whole enjoyment of movies and art. I was creating a book about Baby and a Lion. I I used to love drawing, man. I don't know. I, I feel like I haven't drawn that much lately and it's drawing me down because I love art so much. So, this is Baby and a Lion and it was a story about them I never completed. This is me being angry with society and why society don't accept people. If Jesus died for our sin, why is life so hard? That's the main idea behind this, but yeah, life is hard, people. And this is my banner. And this is me saying, when I'm gone, please remember me. And I don't know, because I'm using the flash. Yeah, I'm not going to zone into that. But yeah, when I'm gone, please remember me for what I did, which was art. Remember Pascal, that's why I put my name over the pyramid. Let my legacy go. Okay. This one when I was learning Photoshop. That's why I put it in the back. Don't try to sell this print. They are terrible. This is another one when I was learning Photoshop. Didn't come out good. Didn't really don't really like it. I can do way better than that. This is the thing. I'ma keep it as a way to say that I improved from this to this. And I just did that in less than two months. That's to say, I started as a refreshment, and now I'm this good. So, 
art is a process, especially for young artists. Know that the more effort you put into this, you will get better at it. You will get better at it. So, this is seat. Now you can take a seat. And let's take a seat. Ooh, now you can enjoy the art studio with me. Lean back and just enjoy. And I just want to tell everyone thank you. And if you stick to this old video, thank you. And God bless you for supporting me. And if you really love my work and you want to contribute to my art, you can go on www.patreon.com slash the artist Pascal and donate whatever you want to donate. A dollar to anything. It's up to you. But thank you so much for for coming to my channel. I think I covered everything in the room. No, I didn't. Oh my god. Let's let I just saw something important. Stay with me. Stay with me. Oh my camera. Oh my god. That's so expensive. Uh I'm gonna have to see if I didn't break anything. Okay. Let's go into some of the most important thing in life. Getting your high school diploma. <laughs> but these are not all my certificates, uh, just some of it. And it's a program in. I love that program. It's amazing. I trust them. You gotta look it up. I'm not gonna go into detail about it. I'm gonna go into detail about the art stuff. I won this when I was in Westlake. This is my refreshment year. Uh, I think I came in first place. Yes, yes. Uh, is it, this is the first place? Do you find first place on this? Yes, because I, I think I came in first place. I usually do. Okay, this for the uh, the Scholastics Art and Writing Awards. It was hosted by SCAD, and SCAD actually gave each people $5,000 because we got a gold key, and that was one of my accomplishments. And so, and I won a lot of awards from the Scholastics Art and Writing Award. There's a lot of them. We're not going to go into detail. A lot of my painting won a lot of awards, and a lot of them did. And I don't want to go over each painting I did, but you can see the names over here. That called Deep Affection. I'm gonna show you the painting who won this gold award, and so on. That's my engineer stuff. That just proves to y'all that I really care about art and engineering. Like what I'm doing, I'm not doing it because I'm doing it to get rich. I'm doing it because I love doing it. That's something you gotta keep in mind, people. Okay, and Deep Affection. Let's go. This is the ugly part of my studio. This is the art that won the first place award. Okay. I hope I can open it. Okay. <laughs> My room is over with so much art. Sorry about that. Okay, let's put this over here. Let's put this over here. Because I want to visualize what cat people think is a good artwork. That... That one won the five thousand dollars scholarship. Scholarship money, yeah, yeah. If you want this print, I will actually. This is not the print I actually won, but I will give you this print if you just like it. Ship it to you because where it was, I don't think that's where ending art should be. So I just want to say thank you again for sticking back with me and enjoying my studio with me. The reason why I don't want to show back here because. It's just bathroom. It's just bathroom. <laughs> okay. This is my interesting spot. So, I appreciate you guys. Like I said, God bless y'all. And see y'all in the next one. Peace.